Hey, Valentine. And the people of the Commonwealth slept soundly. For the greatest monster was gone. It took a lot of guts to push that button. I know it couldn't have been easy. What do you mean? It's just not the sort of thing most folks could handle. Changing the face of the Commonwealth forever. It's hard to even wrap your head around. A world without the Institute. Lurking in the shadows. But that's the life the people of the Commonwealth will get to lead now. All thanks to you. How are you doing with all this? Well, there were a lot of questions I was hoping the Institute could answer. But I've already made it this far without them. I think I'll manage. This is a brave new world you've ushered in. But I suppose it'll do. Your thoughts? So it ends as it began. <laughs> Fitting, I suppose. If only the Institute was interested in helping improve the Commonwealth. Why none of these powerful groups want to help the actual people of the world we live in is beyond me. Hey. Shoot. Hey, Piper. I... I can't believe it. They're gone. The Institute's gone. Do you know what this means? That the Commonwealth is finally safe. Exactly. It means no more kidnappings. No more sleepless nights terrified your neighbors plotting against you. No more fear, thanks to you. We don't have to be afraid anymore. So with the Institute gone, does this mean you're out of a job? <laughs> you're joking, right? Someone's gonna have to document the post-Institute world now, won't they? Welcome to day one of the new Commonwealth. Your thoughts? Science, when used to advance the species, is the most wondrous thing. To see such knowledge perverted. This is a tragedy beyond words. But I think you did the right thing. Your thoughts? I guess that's the end of that. No more Institute holding the Commonwealth hostage. Hell of a job you did there. Hell of a job. Your thoughts? Well... That closes the book on the Institute. <laughs> I can't believe you actually did it. Looks like I picked the right traveling partner to hang around with. And what do you say we head off and look for some more trouble? Your thoughts? Not many people get to be here, living history as it's written. For the first time, possibly ever, the Commonwealth's got a blank page to write, thanks to you. What are you thinking about? Institute smashed! Strong Tell Brothers, great story! Your thoughts? No more Institute, huh? Didn't think I'd ever see the day. You did damn good. So, it appears the Commonwealth is about to enter a new era of peace thanks to you. A new era of peace? What do you mean? The constant paranoia of living in the Institute's shadow vanished the moment you pressed the detonation button. The kidnappings, the fear, and the threat of their technology running amok. All gone, thanks to you. That peace cost a lot of innocent people their lives. The price of war is steep. It takes its toll on both sides of the battlefield. But we have to be willing to accept those losses, if it means winning the good fight. Do you have any idea what's happened here? What you've done will be felt for years to come. It's destined to become a part of history. A tale of a lone soldier who made this land a better place. A place where people no longer have to live in fear, but instead live in peace. And even though you elected to carry out the mission with the Minutemen at your side, the end result is the same. The Commonwealth is safe because you chose to take a leap of faith and make a difference. How long do you think the peace will last? As long as the Pridwin is still here, and you remain by Maxon's side, I'd say the Commonwealth will endure for quite a long time. Anyway, I've said what I needed to say, so I won't keep you any longer. I suppose it's time you ventured out 
into this new world you've created. And, if you'll still have me by your side, I'd be honored to accompany you. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Hey. Go ahead. Excuse me, Paladin Dance? What's the matter? Your thoughts? You should be proud of what you've done, soldier. Destroying the Institute wasn't simply a victory for the Brotherhood. It ensures the survival of humanity itself. Well done. Hi. Holy shit. That was one hell of a bang, wasn't it? So that's it. The Institute is destroyed. It's finally over. You did issue the evacuation order, right? I didn't notice in all the chaos. Yeah. We gave everyone a chance to get out. Good. I thought so. It was just... watching that explosion. I just hope as many people as possible got out. I hate that we had to do that. But they left us no choice. It was war. But now... the war against the Institute... is over. The way is now clear for the Commonwealth to finally come together... and build something good for the future. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows from here on out. The Institute wasn't the Commonwealth's only problem. We've still got plenty to do. I couldn't have said it better myself, General. The Institute was the most insidious threat we've ever faced. They kept the Commonwealth divided for centuries. But there are plenty of other problems left to deal with. I don't think the Minutemen are going to be out of a job for a long time yet. As much as I might wish it. We deserve to enjoy our victory, but soon enough, it's going to be time to get back to work. The Institute didn't leave us any choice, General. It was us or them. And I still don't understand what the Institute wanted with us. It seemed like they already had everything they could have possibly wanted. Evacuating the Institute was the right thing to do. With the Institute destroyed, those people don't pose any threat. 